Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Alien Isolation. This game came out in 2014, and it's a first-person stealth horror game set in the universe of the legendary film franchise. The story takes place between the events of Alien and Aliens. So Ellen Ripley's escape shuttle is still drifting somewhere in deep space. Isolation follows Amanda Ripley, Ellen's daughter, who's all grown up now, and investigating the disappearance of her mother all those years ago, when she inadvertently crosses paths with one of the infamous Xenomorphs. Before we begin, I'd like to give a very special shout-out to Spartan Demon, a fan who gifted me this game over Steam. Thanks, dude. I've heard this game is incredible. And I hope my attempts to uh, flail my way through it are entertaining. This one is dedicated to you. I'd also like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now without further ado, let's play Alien Isolation. Oh, that wasn't unsettling at all. Novice. A thrilling experience. The greatest chance of survival. Easy. For an increased chance of survival. Medium. Still a challenge, but one you may survive. Hard. The recommended way to experience the game. Challenging and terrifying. Nightmare, the ultimate test of survival. Let's go on medium. Oh, they say recommended down here. Let's go on medium anyway. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? 
Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Pardon me for a second, folks. All of a sudden, I'm only getting audio out of one of my headphones. Okay. I think we're good. Wow. I actually watched Alien last night to uh, prepare for this. And I hadn't realized when I did my frame rate testing how precisely they modeled this uh, area after the ship from the first movie, the Nostromo. Can I put these slippers on? No. We'll just go on the cold floor then. Well, it's nice to feel welcome. I really like this uh, sort of retro future thing they've got going on. From everything I hear, they very deliberately uh, modeled this one, very specifically, I should say, after uh, Alien. Not Aliens, not Alien 3, not Alien Resurrection, Alien. So uh, all of the computers and such have this uh, chunky plastic look to them, like they come straight out of 1979. Fucking A. It's even got one of the drinking birds from the, uh, the lunchroom. Verlaine. Family picture. Aw. You're never going to see those people again. Frank Herman, War in Totality. I wonder if that's a real book. Taylor. Oh. Okay. Even that guy there has a 70s look to him with the hair and the beard. Connor. Can't steal any of his stuff, but he does have a giant harmonica. I know what to sign to this one, I guess. Yoink! And Samuels. Okay. Off we go. Where are my pants? So, yeah, um. I didn't have automatic doors in the movie. Oh, man.
before last night. I don't think I've watched a horror movie in like 10 years. Tremendous wuss me. I can only imagine it's going to be worse when it's actually me being hunted. I am completely turned around. Okay, that's where I came from. So I guess we'll just keep looking. No! I wonder if I get all flustered that I'm in my underwear. I wonder if I'll get all flustered that I'm in my underwear. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor okay? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. You should probably get changed, Ripley. Verlaine will be calling us soon. Hot damn. Yeah, this looks just like the room where, uh... John Hurt lying here, the face hugger on. Like really, this is an insane level of detail. Like even the the rubbery detailing on the walls, the shape of the corridor. Only five people. It's even less than on the Nostromo. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Put people in the scanner. Oh, and that thing in the middle is the light. Is it going to sweep back and forth? Oh. I'm actually kind of disappointed. That's probably for the best to leave it out in case someone needs it. Where the hell am I going? There's like a million directions I didn't go. I actually found the room where you get changed in the uh, frame rate test, but... I had no idea this place was so claustrophobic. Well, no, I could tell it was claustrophobic. I had no idea it was so confusingly laid out. Looks like I'm on the right track, anyway. Lockers? Lockers? No. Somebody's luggage? Oh, yeah. I found this. And then, as soon as I looked at that, I unlocked this. Achievement unlocked a record of disaster. Collect an archive log. Just missed you. Verlaine, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship, and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The mega corpse undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol, Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still here, Wayland Yutani Paywell. Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. So, the Wayland Utani Corporation is the company. They're uh, kind of gigantic and all encompassing. And they have basically no moral center whatsoever. Do I have an inventory? Oh, wow. Why do I have a missing persons section? Well, I don't seem to have any way to check the things I'm looking at. So I see that the save point logo is an old-timey disc, 
Except I'm... Well, Alien came out in 1979, and I'm pretty sure the aesthetic they're going for predates uh, the small, hard kind of floppy disks. Huh, I can look around while I do that. Yes. I like that. It looks like the card that uh, Captain Dallas used to... I shouldn't open other people's personal storage, I guess. It looks like the card Captain Dallas used to unlock the room where you talk to the uh, computer. Mother, that's what it was called. No idea what any of these things are for, but, you know. Oh, is this a shower? No, I just vented myself into space. I should not push strange buttons in this universe. Ah, that's actually kind of nice. Give me a moment to have a quick rinse, guys. Ah, oh, that's so much better. I always feel dead on my feet until I get a uh, shower in the mornings. And just remember that I'm actually wearing my underwear, so that's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, just turning the screen on and off. Ah, perfect! You know what? I'm gonna give Ripley the benefit of the doubt. And, uh... Assume... That she brought at least one change of underwear with her. Bonding agents, compounds, SCJ and injectors. I think, based on one of the uh, loading screens I saw, that there's a crafting system in this game. What is that beeping? Oh, it's this. Interesting. I do dig the uh, robot toy. Oh god, I've heard this game is absolutely terrifying. Actually, uh, Spartan Demon specifically requested when he gifted me this game that I use it in my tradition of playing a uh, horror game on Halloween. And when he... Oh! I just... When I, uh... When he gifted it to me, I couldn't actually run it. So I felt like I dodged a bullet. But since I got this, uh, you know, upgrade... I feel like I might as well play this now, huh? Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning, either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Hmm. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Okay. Bridge is right there. Convenient. I wasn't robbing anything. This man, this god. Yeah, since if you kind of think you'd read in a long space voyage.
Can I just stay in the ship? So what I've heard is that since this game is specifically trying to be like Alien, there's only one Xenomorph in the game. But like in Alien, it's invincible. You can't kill it. Uh, the best you can possibly do is like scare it off with a flamethrower. And uh, like I said, first person stealth horror. The best option you have to survive is hiding from the damn thing. To N. Taylor, read Nostromo incident, Wayland Utani file. Number, long freaking number. Um, hey Taylor, I got your case uh, requ request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland Utani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Dallas, Captain. Ash, Science Officer. Kane, or is it Kane? It's with a K, by the way. I had subtitles on. Executive Officer. Uh, Ripley, Warrant Officer. Lambert, uh, Navigation Officer. Parker, Chief Engineer. And Brett, Engineer Technician. Wayland Utani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later, clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear the upstairs have an eye on you for something big. I always found it interesting that, uh... I did see Alien once before. Like, 20 years ago. Uh... I always found it interesting that Ripley reports Ash dead in that final message. Because, uh, he turned out to be a fucking robot from the company, who, one, knew about the uh, alien life form going in, and two, had been actively working to protect it from the crew throughout the entire movie. So yeah, he was dead, but only because they fucking killed him. I did notice this time that, uh, when... Oh, and how awesome is it that they got Sigourney Weaver's voice in this game? Honestly, couldn't tell if that was the same audio, or if it was, uh... They brought Sigourney Weaver into the studio to, you know, re-record that. I did notice a sizable pause, uh, between whoever was before Ash and Ash, as if she was thinking about leaving him off the list. I'm just ram rambling now. Uh, shared folders. Torrens Manifest. Name MSV7760 Torrens. M-Class Starship. Captain Diane Verlaine, Navigation Comm Officer, William Connor. Owner Diane Verlaine, Contractor Wayland Utani. Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Utani, Utani Retrieval Team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three WY employees Samuels C., Ripley A., Taylor N. Passengers Samuels Christopher, Ripley Amanda, Taylor Nina. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications antenna in a long-haul hypersleep chamber. Commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy-duty tow umbilical. Hmm. Guess I should head into the bridge. I'm a little bit embarrassed. I seem to have spent the entire first episode wandering around and rambling, but... In my defense, it really is remarkable how much detail they got from the first movie into this game. I, mean, I get that the whole game doesn't take place on this ship, so... Th this section here is probably just a specifically detailed love letter to Alien. God, I don't want to get to the scary part. I'm terrible at stealth. And I'm a ter terrific wuss when it comes to horror. Can I just go back in the pod? That was in this direction, right? Well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode. 
of Let's Play Alien Isolation. When we get to the bridge, and I guess make our way to Sevastopol. Later.